Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. About two days ago, on day number 100 and 111, today is our lesson number 113, not 12. Day before yesterday, we began a topic of work time problems and we said that we're going to do 15 of those problems together and today is our third one in the series. This third problem in the series is something that I gave you as a homework yesterday and therefore it is already on the blackboard. Here's the problem. We are told that we have three machines, machine A, B and C. We are told that machine A takes three hours to do the job by himself working alone. Machine B takes four hours to do the job. Machine C takes five hours to do the exact same job working by himself at its, at its, at its constant pace. I'm leaving all of, all of that uh, juicy details. You understand? I'm, I'm just, just giving you the nub of the problem. The question simply is, how long will they take? How long will they take if they were to work together to finish the job? If they were all were to work together, all of these three machines were to operate together, how long will they take to finish the job? And here are the answer choices. 1 and 1 third, 1 and, one and a half, 1 and 2 third, 2 and 4 and 1 third. Let's see what we can do. This thing that I just erased was the solution to the problems that we did yesterday, so don't worry about that. Now, listen very carefully. There are two ways we can go about this problem, work time problems when they, when they are presented to you, work time problem when they appear in the exam. There are always two ways you can go about them. One is what I call the traditional way, the orthodox way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the academic way, the mathematical way. There is nothing wrong with it. If that's the way you want to do, that's fine. That's perfectly okay. Another way is the, what I call the quick and dirty way. Quick and dirty way is where you simple, where you employ simple, logical thinking and ask yourself, ask yourself, is there any answer choice here that simply doesn't make any sense? Knock out those answer choices first before you do any work at all. For example, here, for example, here. We have three people, three people, three machines makes no difference. We have three people, A, B, and C. They take three hours, four hours, and five hours by themselves. If, if, if they were, if they were all to work, to work as fast as the fastest guy, job will be done in how many hours? That's the first question you, you want to ask yourself. Look for the best case scenario and look for the worst case scenario. Now here I employ superlative best case and the worst case because there are three machines. If there were only two of them, of course, you wouldn't say best one. You would look for, look for the better one and a worse one. You understand? But anyway, this is not, we are not here for grammar. Here, since there are three of them, we, we, are, we have to employ superlative. The best case scenario is the fastest guy. Ask yourself, how long will the job take if they were all, if they were all to work as fast as the fast guy, which they are not. It's purely hypothetical. If they were, it's purely hypothetical. Well, this guy takes only three hours to do the job. If he takes only three hours for him to do the job, in one hour he can do a third of a job. If the second guy also takes only three hours to do the job, he can. In one hour, he can do another third of the job. And if C also takes three hours to do the job, if C also works as fast as A and B, he can also knock out one third of the job. Which means if they were all, if they were all to take three hours, three hours, and three hours, the job can be done in one hour. Because each one of them will do a third of a job in one hour. Job can be done in one hour. What does that tell us? What does that tell us? It tells us, it tells us that the amount of, work, amount of time that they will take working alone cannot possibly equal one or less than one. They cannot possibly do in less than one hour because they are not working, because they are not all working as fast as the fast guy. The job also cannot take as much as one hour because they, all of them are not working at the same pace. So if you find, so at this point, what the conclusion that we arrive at is, is that if you find any answer choice which is less than one or equal to one, we can knock out those answer choices. Let's see how many answer choices we can knock out here. All right? Ah, blasted! Damn it! There are no answer choices less than or equal to one. Don't be, as they would say. Too bad. Let's do the other scenario. If they were all, 
if they were all to do the work as slow as the slowest guy as slow as the slowest guy job will take how long? so now we are looking at this scenario here this is a little bit more complicated the slow guy takes 5 hours oh actually there is a misprint here it says it should say 3, 4 and 6 I made a mistake I made a mistake here. It should it should say three, four, and six. Now that changes the whole complexion because I asked it to do the problem for homework, and now I feel silly because I gave it the wrong problem on the blackboard. Damn it! It should have said three, four, and six. Well, if he takes six hours, if he takes six hours, and if this guy also takes six hours, and if this guy also takes six hours, I'm going to pick up a little pace here because I just uh, come to a realization that I was going at a too much of a leisurely pace. I don't want to bore the pants off you. Well. In that case, if everybody take, if everybody is, is taking six hours to do the job, then in two hours' time, this guy can do a third of a job, and another two hours, he can do a third of a job, and another two hours, he can do a third of a job, if each one of them takes six hours, if they were all to work as slow as the slowest guy. That tells us that the correct answer, whatever it is, cannot be two or more than two. It cannot be two because they are not all working as slow as the slow guy. So it's not going to take as long as two hours, it's not going to take more than two hours because there are a couple of guys who are working faster than the slowest guy. Let's see if, if there is any other choice that is two or more than two. We can knock out B and E. Which tells us that the correct answer, whatever it is, has got to be either A, B or C. Now we do the problem. Now we can, actually in this question it does not get us anywhere because we are still down to three. We're going to have to do the work. But in the real exam, in the real exam, listen very carefully, in the real exam, the answer choices are not as close as this. They're never as close as this. I did it on purpose here because I want, I want because I was going to force you to actually do the problem. In real exam, actually, they are too quite far apart. In in most cases, you can knock out three answer choices. In some cases, even as many as four. But if you can knock out four answer choices, then you're done. The remaining one must be the right answer. Let's do the work. In order for us to do the work now, here's the solution. Then. We have to find the least common multiplier of 3, 4, and 6. This is how we do it. 3, 4, and 6. What's the smallest number that is a multiplier, that is a, that's a multiple of 3, 4, and 6? Well, we can, we can divide by 2. Four goes, 3 will remain 3. 4 goes into 2 2 times, and 6 goes into 2 3 times. And then divide by 3, you get 1, 2, and 3 divided by 2, you get 1, 1, and 1. That's where the story starts. That's where the story ends. That's it. 4 times 4, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. And of course, all of this thing was silly things to do. You can clearly see from here, 12 is the smallest number. That's a multiple of 3, 4, and 6. You with me? Now the, now the story begins. So now, what we are, now what we will ask ourselves is, how many jobs each one of them can do in 12 hours time. In 12 hours, in 12 hours, A can do, A can do, well if it takes 3 hours to do the job, in 12 hours he can do 4 jobs. In 12 hours, in 12 hours, B can do, well if it takes 4 hours to do the job, in 12 hours he should be able to do 3 jobs. And in 12 hours, in 12 hours, C can do. Since C takes 6 hours to finish the job, if you give him 12 hours, if you give him 12 hours, he should be able to do 2 jobs. There you go. Which means in 12 hours, in 12 hours, they can do how many jobs? They can do 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 jobs. 9 jobs. 9 jobs. nine jobs in 12 hours nine jobs in 12 hours implies that implies if they can do nine jobs in 12 hours that implies that if they were to do only one job the one job should take and the ninth of the amount of time it should take ninth of the amount of time if you divide it you'll find that it is equal to one and the remaining three three and nine which is one and one third one and one third. There you go. The answer is A. The answer is A.
That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.